This is Loddle Nought. Let's check it out together. That's me. Hello, I'm Dave. I'll be your supervisor during your time on GUP 14. Send. Descend. Your first task is to clean up the pollution in your landing zone. Uh, there's a lot of it, so you better get to work. Oh, hold and release F to scan. If you have trouble locating pollutants, be sure to use your helmet scanner. Cool. Remember to drop off collected litter at recycle bots next to your ship. Hmm, subnautica vibes. Cleaning up the ocean. Getting this ocean clean. Wait, is this the recycling stuff? Bottle bank. Man, oh. How fun. Did anyone else... I don't know if this is just a me thing, or if anyone else had an amazing time with this. Or if anyone even has experienced this, but going to the bottle bank as a kid... We've always recycled in my family, right? Even before it was, like, needed to do. So you used to, like, collect your stuff and then take it to recycling places where they had bottle banks here in the UK. Little recycling areas where you would drop off cardboard and big, like, sort of think of a skip with a lid on. Um, and you, like, throw the bottles in. And there's, like, holes along, like, this is for green glass. This is for uh, clear glass and all this kind of, like, you had to do it by colour and all this, which you don't have to do now. You just throw it in a crate and leave it outside your front door, right? Um, as a kid, going to the bottle bank and getting to throw the bottles through, like, I would put them in the hole and then, like, eh, and, like, throw them in to try and make them smash. And it was, like, that has just unlocked a memory in me, this game, where I loved that so much it was so satisfying it was like i get to like smash something and even though it's in there i can hear it smash when i throw it in to recycle it and gosh i had so much fun it's <laughs> so satisfying craft a purifier bomb consumable burst of cleansing energy i don't even know if those exist because you just have upgrades for oxygen i have oxygen do i have to go in my ship to get some um I guess you just, everyone recycles at home now, don't they? Ding, da, ding, 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 ding. But my parents, my mum especially, is very up on environment and animal stuff, always has been. So I've always had so many rescue cats and things. This is really cute and relaxing so far. Can I go in my ship? No, but it makes a satisfying hum. Which tickles my ears. Boop. You'll be authorized to venture into other areas of the planet after you recycle the litter in your landing zone. Okay, deposit item. Clang, clang. Smash. Some more litter, bloody litter. I can't stand litter. People who litter. Never litter, guys. Put stuff in a bin, you know, like what's wrong with you? Just hold it until you get to the next bin or keep it in your car. So infuriating. People who just dump stuff out of their like car window when they're done eating their McDonald's or whatever. Yeah, bloody annoy me. Where's the rest of this litter? Let me use my old scanny, scanneroo here. Where does it show up though? Or well, maybe it's just the three already in my pocket and I have to just do this first for the number to go. That'll do it. Congratulations, you've proven yourself capable of performing basic litter collection. You're authorized to leave the landing zone. Proceed to Ripple Reef for your next task. Yeah. You've left an oxygenated zone. You need to manage 
You need to monitor your oxygen meter from now on. Sorry, I just had a stroke. Okay. The recharge ring. Ah, this thing. Does this recharge my oxygen? It does. Ah, uh, that tickles. What are these? Zap goop, toxic waste material. Zip, zip, zip. Great work. Fully clean plants have increased resistance to the goop spread. Oh. Got a fruit. Do not attempt to eat that fruit. We don't know what effect it has on humans. It's in the cave. Oh, we should clean this up first. This is really cute so far, and a nice mix of, like, pretty absorbing and immersive gameplay. Oh, that fills up some oxygen. I, um, I'm liking this. It's very peaceful. Chop, 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 chop. Oh. A bin bag of loot. Sweet, rubbishy recycling loot. Ripple Reef sounds like a sweet or like a chocolate bar or something. Australian chocolate bars be like, oh mate, yeah, get a load of Ripple Reef in your mouth. In your mouth. Oh. Oh no, I'm mad at Ripple Reef. <laughs> but it would be like fruit. That would be like, um, it's actually a chocolate bar called a Ripple here, which is probably what I'm thinking that, but. Ripple Reef would have salt in it. Salted chocolate and raisins. Yep. Wow, Morph, that's amazing. How comes you aren't some sort of Willy Wonka with a chocolate factory? Because that is such a great sounding chocolate. I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't tell you paths we take in life, you know, lead us where we're meant to be. This area is known as Ripple Reef. Uh, pollution levels on the planet have made it uninhabitable. Uh, your job's to clean up all the contaminants in the area. I'll be here monitoring your progress as you work. Watching and not helping, eh? Just like all of you. But if you'd like to help, you can hit like and subscribe, because that helps the channel immensely. A like certainly does. I wouldn't, you know, make you subscribe if you didn't want to see more indie gaming playthroughs and cute games and stuff that I find, but, um, you know, a like would, would, please, sir, can I have a like? Would sure help, you know? It's free. The Victorian orphan in me came out there. Um, where's oxygen here? I need some. Do I have to go all the way back to that? Surely not. There's got to be some, there's got to be a ring here, no? We go get some before I run out. Your suit's running low on oxygen. Swim through the recharge ring located outside the landing zone. I really have to go all the way back here. Opportunity for another drink of Dr. Pepper. I wonder if it does it if I just go through. Zzzp. It does all the way. Nice. Left some fruit. Or maybe it's grown new fruit since I did it. Scoop. Blah, 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 blah. I'm usually very scared of the water, but I have to say... Um, this is, like, so peaceful that it hasn't even entered my mind yet. Not expecting a shark or a kraken to come and nibble my toes or something, right? Cool. 
clean up the reef. 12%. So this is now almost like a um, open world power wash sim, but recycling and cleaning stuff up. People who like that sort of completionist itch of the power wash sim or anything else that gives you this sort of, hey, do everything, clean it up vibe. Oh, look, it all grew back out. It's very satisfying the way I can just hold it and it does it all around the tree like that. Uno, dos, three. Oh, bit of rubbish. Some air, eins, zwei, three. There we go. Get some more. Read the world of goop. Make the trees green again. Get all this litter. Someone just dumped that in the ocean. But I guess all of our rubbish ends up in the ocean, doesn't it? A lot of it? Isn't that why we're dumping it? And it like washes up on beaches and stuff. It's actually insane how we treat this world, let's be honest. We all know it, right? Good work. You made this area a bit cleaner. There we go. Probably part of this game, honestly, is raising awareness of the oceans, right? Thirty-six percent already. All right, there, Mister Frodo. You're thirty-seven percent for cleaning up Ripple Reef. <laughs> Ripple Reef. Cut chapters from Lord of the Rings. All right, there, Mister Frodo. We're going through Ripple Reef. You got to be careful around here, cause Gumblethorpe, the uh, goblin, lives around here. Ah, uh, there's Grumblethorpe, the goblin. Was uh, goblin? Hobbit says. <laughs> right, you sound a bit like that were the character we met. No, it does not. I sound completely unique. Anyone who says that that is wrong. I don't know why everyone says that, because this, this voice is not an impression of that character, nor is it an impression of Stitch, actually. I was Gobbo, Gobbo de Goblin, uh, playing Grumblethrop in this excerpt now. Oh, right, that was uh, quite a monologue. I'll be off then. Chapter 9. Grumblethorpe the Goblin in the wood. The trees were big and green. They had been walking for some time. Like, honestly, 60% of what I've read of the Lord of the Rings book so far, love it as, as I do. Oh my god, I'm out of oxygen. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. <laughs> that's what that's what I get that's commitment to the bit right there. I drowned. I drowned for the bit. You drop some items, go back and retrieve them. Yeah, I had loads of items. Form a material. Okay. No, I haven't. But um I'm reading Lord of the Rings for the podcast, and like 80% of it is Describing woods and walking through woods so far. The first book is just like describing in great detail the route that they take through these first sets of woods and forests. I'm like, okay, get to the good stuff. <laughs> hey, J.R.R. Tolkien, get to the good stuff. Where's the elves, you know? Where's the war at? Where's Grumblethorpe the Goblin? We should start a campaign to uh, release the Grumblethorpe cut <laughs> for Lord of the Rings and it just like doesn't exist. 
create some fake lore of Grumblethorpe the Goblin being cut from the Lord of the Rings films. Ah, there's all the stuff I dropped. And a lot of stuff it was. Oh my gosh. Just collecting whilst I'm rambling away there. This would make for a nice stream game, honestly, to like play and chat with people whilst playing. I'm playing this just as a video though, because I'm recording it before I'm like allowed to show it. So that it'll go out once I'm allowed to show it. Otherwise I probably would have streamed it today. Over on twitch.tv slash madmorph, but I don't stream that often anymore. Used to stream every day. But uh, I like recording and doing a bunch of other things now. I could have just got oxygen right here. Look what I died next to. I do still like streaming though, so I try and make time for it. Just for enjoyment. There we go, 50%. scoop. But I do so many other things now that I'm kind of luckily... It's a good problem to have in a position where I can stream when I really have a game that I think suits a live stream. Or that I really want to, like, share on a live stream. Dun -dun -dun. Which is nice, honestly. business things. I could talk about it for ages. I find the whole content creation and stuff like that very interesting and YouTube and stuff. No. Scoop, 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 scoop. Sometimes people want... Oh, I guess what I will say, let me know in a comment like if you want to hear more sort of tales of uh, you know, what, how I approach things and stuff like that but um something that often comes up i guess is people just say like any advice you know and i'm like by no means an expert i've been doing it for some time um but i would say make sure that you like what you're doing and also like in terms of actually practical advice and not the usual kind of like hey love what you do and make what you love and all that kind of thing um congratulations ripple reef is adequately clean draw any native creatures be happy to live here a creature's gonna show up is wildlife gonna come back nature is healing music is changing um but in terms of practical advice um start making short form content tiktoks instagram reels youtube shorts that is going to be the quickest route to anyone growing any kind of channel um over the next year or few years so do that and it can work for anyone because honestly if that can work for me and like my videos that have done well on youtube like my actual main videos are six hours long and full playthroughs of games and i can get like benefit from short form like anyone can there you go and now on with the chill time so i'll shut up about business talking shop in the ocean how dare i a fish! That's a loddle. It's covered in goop. Unfortunately, you're not authorized to use your laser on local wildlife. Not after what happened last time. What? I can't help him? Best to ignore it. My little loddle. But I'm called a loddle nought. I must work out a way to help this fish. You're gonna follow me. <gasps> the goop has recontaminated the local flora. Try to avoid swimming near any plants until you get the loddle clean. Damn. Bring clean loddle. I have to clean a loddle. Maybe I have to take you back where we were. Follow me. I don't think that loddle will be comfortable anyway until it's clean. 
If only we had a device that could restore it. Well, let's go back and have a look, shall we? Help the little fish. It's this way. Oh. You gooped it. Don't goop on my tree, man. Let's go. Charge ring blasted the goop off the loddle. Well, there you go. I didn't even have to take. I thought I was gonna have to take you back there and craft something, but we're all right. This is actually making me want to do a subnautica playthrough. I wonder if they finished that ice one yet. I could always do that. I haven't played that one yet. I played it when it was like really early and not very good, and then they've like changed everything since then. So the loddle is now comfortable living in this area. You're welcome, little loddle. I got you, bro. Let me clean up the mess you made. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da 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 -da. But I mean, if you have any aspirations, like if you're making some kind of content, um, I would love to hear about it, honestly. You can always drop that in a comment. I love hearing about people's passions, do you know what I mean? And hobbies and stuff. Interesting little channels and stuff that people have. Congratulations, it's flourishing. You have an entire planet to clean. Before you continue, I must write a performance report. I'm sure HQ would like to hear from you. Let me get you the necessary means to contact them, okay? Oh, it's so good. I can't wait. Does this have a release date yet? Let me click this and see in the store. 2023. All right. We'll keep our eyes open. For Loddle Nort. Nice. Hope you liked it. Let me know in a comment if you want to see me play the full thing when it's out in 2023, I guess. I think it would make for some chill live streams, so uh, maybe we'll do it there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll throw some other videos up on the screen right now if you want to go on another adventure with me. And I will see you in the next video. Good night.